grim city, once the ideal town to live in, has turned into the worst possible place to settle down, with multiple sectors separated with borders of towering mountains and gates, the once beautiful city is now the most class-divided society that has ever existed. First, there is Sector 04, an actual normal living district where the residents have peace of mind, not having to worry about the evils that are locked away in Sector 07, with access to shops and an actual police force, people here don't have to worry about a single thing. Here, we have the most dangerous and most crime-ridden sector of all, Sector 07. It's kill or be killed in this world, where the strong prey on the weak, and the weak feed the strong. With no real police force, the city has descended into a dark age where people rely on primal instincts to survive without anybody without without anybody to rely on you best pray that the people living here give you a fast death but one thing is for certain money is king in all the sectors without it you won't survive a single day in here I'm broke as shit. Good morning, sir. Good morning, wait. How did you sleep? As good as cardboard can be. Sorry about that. I don't really have any spare beds for you. That's fine, I know. Have a good day. You too. Wagwan boss man, can man get a fish and chips with a bottle of water still? Sir, this is a diner, not a chip shop. We do not have that here. Damn, I should have just stayed in Britain, bro. It's the usual again this month. Alright, it'll be $20. Here's all I have left from this month. Will it do? You are a few short dollars, mate. Come on, man. Can't you just let it go this one time? Things are getting expensive and has risen in price. You are lucky I haven't changed the price tag. Please, man. You know how hard it is on these streets. You gotta help me, man. You know I gotta support my mom, too. Alright, alright, fine. I'll let this slide just this once. Thank you. Thank you, man. You better have enough next month. Cause I can't do this again. I promise I will. Thanks, man. Please don't hurt me, man. I'll give you your money, please. Keep your charge to yourself. Go back to your crew and warn them to never show up on my territory again. Oh, hey mate, any case today? Only got 35 bucks. Bro, calm down mate. I was just curious, you know. It's almost end of the week. You don't want to make the lady upset, don't you? I'm done for today. How about you go out and do something, yeah? Mm-hmm. Of course. Oh yeah, also, we might need extra people. So if you got any meat, then feel free to recruit them. Calm down, we have enough money for everyone. Lady ain't do nothing. Unless you decide to snatch some of the extra shares for yourself. Blade told us to collect as much weaponry and men as possible. A gang is awaiting soon. I've been told. Bloody hell, who is it this time? Is it these Russians again? Yep, 
not sure what they did, but whatever it was, Blade didn't let it slide like that. You know that man, he would kill you over $10. Mm-hmm, of course, of course. Hey, Ani, how was your day? Hi, Trevor. Nothing much, really. Just went clubbing with the girls. How about you? Oh, me? It was fine. Just some trouble at work, though. My co-worker was just acting up. Nothing that bad. Not that Sean again. They should really fire him. Yeah, they really should. Hey, Trevor. What is it? I really hate to bother you about this, but I'm pregnant. I know how money is tight for you, but... It's alright, Annie. I will manage. Really? Are you sure? Y you have to send him to school and, and... Yes, honey. Besides, it's my job as a father to take care of my child and support you. Thanks, Trevor. This means so much to me. I'm gonna be a mother. Just make sure you're back to see his face when he's born, okay? Okay, okay, I will. Anyway, it's getting late. I have an early shift tomorrow. I'll call you tomorrow, alright? Good night, Trevor. Good night, babe. Oh, fuck. Hello? Hello? Is this Wade? It is me. Who is this? I'm Dr. Anderson from Sector 04 Hospital. Your mother has unfortunately passed away. What? How? She had a heart attack and was rushed to the hospital. However, due to her not having any health insurance or money, there was nothing we could do. How could you do that? How could you just leave her to die like that? I could have gotten a loan or something to pay it off. I'm very sorry, but without payment, we really could not save our life. Medicine is very expensive now, and we even tried to reserve it for our VIPs. <sighs> All you doctors are the same, always trying to line your pockets with as much money as possible, while trying to extort every penny I'm you so can so sorry, like Reid, but without an upfront payment of $10,000, there's nothing we could do, not to mention the ambulance costs long-term payments and What am I going to do? Dad is already gone and mom is dead. What do you guys want? You can know what we want. Please, have you not already taken enough? It will never be enough. As long as you're this week a 30 can worth us, you will always be your mark. You have most money after all. I am already starving because we don't eat breakfast at home. Please have mercy. Shut up! I don't care. We need this money more than your worthless ass. So fuck it over. Show some sympathy, please. Look at you. You can't do anything. All you can do is just beg. The strong will will always prey on the weaklings like you. You will never survive in real world, you. Get him! Get up, man! You keep talking about how y'all are at the top of the food chain when you forgot about me. But in reality, you are only strong in numbers. 
have no real strength by yourself. What do you want, man? Today is a day that changes. Today is the day you get off your high horse and face the real world as you claim it is. I get it! I'm sorry! Shut up! If you ever, ever think about extorting money from anyone ever again, I will find you and beat you all by myself. No matter how many people you bring, you will all fall down. Alright, alright. We're leaving. You're not going to rob me too, right? No, of course not. Thank you so much, man. You have no idea how much you saved my life. That was the last of this month's money. The name is Trevor. What's yours? I'm Wade. Well, Wade, from now on, you got me looking after you. And in return, you watch my back too, alright? Okay, thanks again. Hello? Wide? You haven't called me for a long time, chum. Hey man, I remember you were recruiting some people for like your faction thing. Are you still looking? Damn, the inspector to join, huh? I'm just going through some tough times right now, man. And I need money. A lot of money. Badly. What did drive you here back to me, mate? You know, it's very dangerous business, right? Not everyone here makes it alive, and I don't know what kind of mount you're seeking for, but eh. I can't, Trevor. I'm tired of this. My whole life, I've just been a punching bag that's being thrown around by life. I want to change directions and do something myself. Well, if I were you, then I'd turn around. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. You will regret it, Wade. Life in here is a Hunger Games. You'll have to kill, and if you don't, then you'll have to be killed. Yes, I fully understand, Trevor. I've seen the news reports and these blocks leak videos. I need money badly. I can't even afford a simple bag of chips. Well, you say so. But remember, once you get in, you can't get out anymore. This is your last chance. Wait, do you verify? I confirm. I will send you an address, and you'll have to arrive there by tomorrow night, at exact time given in there. I. Thank you very much, Trevor. You've done so much for me. I promise I will repay all your kindness one day. Mm -hmm. Trevor? Hey, wait, 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 wait. This is a misunderstanding. Hey, you utter bastard. Get out of here. Hey, my man. How's life been? The inspector in Sector 7. But guess our path has been crossed now, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, uh, what do I gotta do to join your crew thingy you've told me about? Ain't that first, bud. First, this is ain't no your regular average Sector 4, got it? Life and rules are different in here, and I will gladly be your guide in this wildlife. Remember, never introduce ourselves by your real name. Have some kind of nickname, like mine is The Mask. You feeling me? Okay, Trevor. Ah, uh, I mean the mask. <laughs> if anyone is acting aggressive or staring for too long, try to provoke a fight. Then better strike first. Got it?
Yo, this is our new recruit. Call him the, uh, what's your nickname gonna be? Mm, um, I'm way, uh... Are you for real, man? This guy's clueless. Doesn't get a name. Hey, weren't you looking for new people? There you go. I gotcha. Now quit your crying. This is the funny judge, but we'll see how that reacts to this new karma of yours. Hey guys, we got a guest in here. He will work with us for now on. I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed in him. Say something. Uh, hey guys. <laughs> uh, my name is, uh... <coughs> uh. Call me Cap. Alright, that was a long day, but now, uh, how do we split that amount of money? Hold your horses. Blade will come home tonight, and he will be the one deciding this. Blade? Who's that? So, I have some things to announce, my fellow vultures. First one, I see a new face in here, huh? Introduce yourself. Oh. Um, hello. My name is Wh- My name is Cap. I have joined recently and I promise to serve you well and stay loyal till the very end. You're funny, son. Anyways, a war is upcoming. The Russian cartel known as the White Wine, or Below Vino. What they exactly do, boss? Well, to simplify things, they think they're superior to everyone and want to outlive us out of our own turf. We gotta remind them who rules Sector 07. 
Of course, I will try to negotiate with them shortly, but we will be ready to strike in case things go sour. Y'all got it. Now, to the weekly quota. What you guys got in the stash? All right, let's go, boss man. Follow me. Very nice job, my children. Now, let's get to the sherry. What's your name again, son? Uh, I'm Cap. Cap. Work hard and you will get paid good, understood. Hoping to see you alive by next week. Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> Trevor. Shut the fuck up, it's the mask. Oh yeah, Mr. Mask. Sorry, forgot. Could you enlighten me about these uh gang stuff and factions? Who are we friends with and who are like the bad guys, you know? Alright. The White Wine. Notorious Russian cartel was known for their chaotic rampage and bloodshed they've caused all the way in 1990s. Still actively live in this day. Street Animals, once a popular game that was known for their rebellious and aggressive behavior, they would attack anyone that would even dare to look at them in the wrong way. Extermination in 2016, no survivors were left alive. Legion, most feared gang in the entire Crim City. If you've crossed their path, then consider yourself a dead man. They got supplies of all kinds of armory and weapons. our factions and has been founded by our leader blade in around 2020 lots of these gangs are exterminated huh don't you think vultures will face the same end one day also do we not have like a sort of friends or allies or something <laughs> nah man when we got leader like blade taking care of us we'll be safe till the very end don't look for friends in Sector 7. Only rely on your family and everyone else are enemies to you. He has picked me up from the streets when I was just a mindless teenager. I've been with the Vulture since 2021, so four years. You can call me an OG, I guess. What a teary story. <laughs> Alright, Mask and the newbie guy. I already forgot your name. You guys done yapping? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I was just telling him some bass. I don't care. Follow me. 
Got some biz for both of you. Alright, so Mask, I gotta discuss something with you later. For now, you two, here's an address. Go in there and pay them a visit. These people need a little beating. As a tip, you can have whatever you'll find in their pockets, alright? Yes, sir. Beating, huh? Shh, let's go. Well, wait, Trevor, you're saying we're going to kill someone with these crowbars? Nah, not really kill. Just apply some pressures on them. That's how things work in here. You'll get used to it. I know you've trained me and stuff, but I don't think I'm ready to hurt people yet. <sighs> Hello, may I help you with something? Uh, I, 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 I'd like a... Hello, man. We'd like a haircut for our fella over here. Y'all gotta wait in line, mates. We only got one barber. Take a seat and wait. Trevor, if you're saying we gotta attack these guys, then you must be batshit insane. Hi, I'm done, mates. Wow, look at that. He's next in the line. Good day, bloke. Which style are you looking for? Uh... Um... Bloody hell, mate. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? This is the message from Vultures. <laughs> ah, get off me, boy. You're gonna kill this man! Take the money and dip! Alright, Blade told we can keep this, right? Mm-hmm. 
What are you guys going to spend this money on anyways? Eh, just buy whatever I want. Don't really got a goal. Gonna buy a car tonight. I've been saving up for multiple months. Which about you, Wade? You called me sounding like you're dying for money. Nothing much, honestly. Just going to pay all my debt. Alright, boys. Everyone meet up tomorrow at the warehouse around this time, alright? I am going. Leaving so soon, Trevor. Yeah, sorry, Annie. I gotta get back to work. They're not gonna survive there without me. <laughs> Damn it. Being a cop is a really hard job, isn't it? Especially in Sector Zero. Well, I'm getting paid good enough, as you can see. And Sector Zero isn't that bad. <laughs> when that little ankle bitter comes out, I should be a better father when supply is ready to be spent. I will retire and help you full time, I promise, alright? Silly, you do you, just be careful please. Keep patrolling at Sector Zero and don't go anywhere near Sector 7, alright? I've heard really bad things about it. Annie, cops aren't even paid to visit that place so we don't have to patrol in there. It's job for different specials like RCU, aka Riot Control Unit. My duty? It's just to catch thug wannabes. Alright Trevor, just be careful for me, okay? Bye bye! Pack some of your favorite chocolate.
Wait, you know anything about the money on my counter? <laughs> nah, must have been some random act of kindness. Hold on, wait, did you put these a hundred dollars? No, you think I'm that rich, mate? I know any of you? Next time we see you on this block, you'll be dead. This is revenge for our friends at the barbershop. Blade, what? What happened? I have a question for you, my boy. Where the fuck were you yesterday? <laughs> I was out of town. I was spending some time with my what? You've done fucked up, son. Left all of us hanging. These fucking Russian rats have jumped us from the back. Uh, oh. Doesn't matter now. But we will get our revenge. I may not be able to fight for some while, so you'll be in charge, alright. But don't you dare fuck up again like you just did. Uh, alright, Blade. You can rely on me, I swear. I have a plan that you will execute, alright? Our meetings with them is planned in two days from now on, so listen carefully. Bastards. I'll get back to them. Just give me some time. <coughs> Damn it. I already forgot where our base was. Not sure what to do now. Fuck. I hope no one is still here. Damn, that hurts. Maybe we should have hit up some other store instead. <sighs> Who were those guys anyways? And why were they working for those barbers? <sighs> that hundred dollars is not worth dying here for, man. If those guys managed to jump me, what about Trevor and the others? Will we all get wiped out? <sighs> I don't know about that. But what I do know is that I need to start training. I don't want to end up like that guy. Maybe for a start, remember where the warehouse is, you moron. <sighs> I should have stayed at Sector 4. Oh, what am I thinking? The gang needs me. Trevor needs me. I can't just give up on myself like that. More importantly, give up on Trevor. The night is Trevor. What's yours? Well, Lloyd, from now on, you got me looking after you. And in return, you watch my back too. What the fuck? Shit, little 
I go? How could so much have happened on only one night? The Russians were not this strong before. We lost so many men. Many are in the hospital or dead already. How are we going to do that? They were already rich enough as they already are. And from the looks of it, they're even richer now. They can definitely buy better weapons than us. I didn't expect them to attack us while they were partying. Beer, please. All the right, give me a moment. Sorry, I don't speak Scandinavian. What do you want? Nothing. What do you want? Are you gonna take a seat or no? Yes, I do. And it seems like they have even more men than before. Seems like some people think they're the shit now. They think they could rule the place. That asshole thinks he owns this place. What the boss does, he looks familiar too. I think he is a vulture. I'll go back there and show him who owns the place. <laughs> Trevor? What are you doing in here? What's up with the look? Did someone get your ass? I just got into the sector and honestly, I sort of forgot where our base is. But we gotta hurry and hide. There's people after me. Huh? Hey Trevor, have you ever wondered if this life will kill you one day? This is like your second day and you're already thinking of dying, huh? It's just, I've never seen so much violence in my whole life, as I've witnessed in the past days. I just don't think hurting people is something I enjoy doing. Violent? You have no idea what the fuck true violent is. We are real humans compared to those monsters that lives all around us. You have no idea what kind of shit they fucking do. I've warned you like twice, but you still went for it, and now you're backing down, huh? They will eat bloody weaklings like you alive. You should have ran before it was too late, but no. I won't run this time. I will not run! Look at this. Two, three, all it can do is just beg. The strong will always play out the weaklings like you. They will eat bloody weaklings like you alive. You should have ran before it was too late, but no! I 
Stop. That's enough. <laughs> I am so tired. I'm so tired of being told around what to do or having to listen to someone. I've had enough of being tossed around. Nobody else will ever treat me like shit. From this moment, I will change forever, Trevor. I will not let anyone get in my way from now on. If my life goal is just to stay as a weakling for the rest of my life, then I'd rather die covered in blood fighting for my life rather than on my knees begging for directions. I am done of being the victim, Trevor. Strikes us first, and was being way too cocky not siding with us. We just had to teach him a lesson and put him back in his place. He belongs to a retirement home, not on the streets. You guys are a bunch of punks. You know nothing about Blade. That guy is full of shit. Just some old ass man with some tale as his background story. What do you guys even want from the vultures? What's your objective? To scare us off? To have war with us? We are tired of your leader and your guy's activities. So, we have to propose an ultimatum for the vultures. First option, you guys hand us the warehouse and leave Sector 07 peacefully and get lost with all peace and respect. Or we will have to clear you guys out by force. I don't think anyone here wants that, do we? Vultures, attack! The club is ours now. 
You will never show up your face on this territory ever again. Vultures are everywhere. From now on, you're nothing but a meal to us. Trevor? Yes, Annie? I, I don't know why, but I just don't feel safe. I have a bad feeling something is coming. Could you please take this week off? Babe, you know being a policeman is a serious job in Crim City. I, I know, just please be careful, alright? You, you ever had to kill someone on your duty? Eh, not really. The worst one I've done was this time some teenager was running away with a stolen purse and I've tased him and he just fell onto the concrete. <laughs> You're my hero. Fine. You can go but please be careful for me. Wait! Hey, wait man! Wait, please be honest with me. You have joined some crew, didn't you? Eh, nah, I just decided to grow up. I know how crew life works, Wade. That is blood money. The consequences of your actions will catch up to you one day, and you will have to pay for it! I finally managed to pay off my debts and enjoy my life for once. And this is what you say to me? Look man, I know life is a bitch sometimes, but this is the worst way to deal with it. Everyone who joins crews have the same fate. I had to experience it myself. My brother, he was in a crew a long time ago. Now he's dead. He died a horrible death. To this day, I remember him going out on a task for the last time, looking so innocent and happy, but that day, he never returned. He kept trying to drag me into that type of life. I didn't let my desperation for money win over me. And I've stood my ground refusing to become a criminal. Now you're telling me that. The thing is, I don't care anymore. I can finally move out of the storage room and sleep on an actual bed. If I have to die just to be able to enjoy such luxury of having a normal life, then so be it. Wait, please. I'm just worried for you. Kiddo, come over here. Huh? Yes, boss, what is it? Listen carefully. I was checking some of the documents they've had at the club. Found out that they're associated with some bank. It's located in Sector Zero, and I believe that that's where they're hiding their real stash. Wh what? Zero. What is that place that is monitored by the police? It would be really risky to commit an entire heist there. I don't think you quite understand me, boy. We're speaking hundreds of thousands of dollars here. With this kind of money, we can retire from the streets. You fucking feel me, boy? 
I'm on these streets just because I've never had any money. Same with you. If this goes right, then we can leave criminality. Blade, it's a suicide mission. No, son. I have a plan. You see, my plan worked last time. It will work again. If I say something, then that will happen. I do not bullshit around, son. Anyways, the bank layout is simple. It has like three rooms, a hall. I had some of my people scout the bank for me and they've noticed just one thing. The bank only works for like four hours a day and the rest of the time it just stays closed for guests. It exists just for money laundering purposes and they sure do have a lot of money in there. But how do we get the money out? It must be heavily guarded if that's the case. That's the thing. During nighttime, we will push the bank. We get in quick with rifles, grab the money, and disappear into the night. No offense, Blade, but that plan sounds a bit too obvious. I believe in it. <sighs> Just let him in with us. He can't have like 10 or 20%. That guy is fresh meat. I don't know shit about him and neither do I care that much. And he gets a whole ass 10%. Wait, just let him. He won't be trouble, I swear. All right. Listen, man, you feel really different since the moment sewers. It's like you just snapped, huh? It's like- What are you gonna tell me? That I should go back to my innocent self? Uh, it's a good thing that you can defend yourself now without my help, yeah. But it's just weirding me out, man. <sighs> we'll get used to it. Listen, Wade. Not Wade. My name is Cap. Alright, Cap, whatever. This can't be the final mission. After living in this wild criminal life for a long time, I have realized that, you know, we have to retire at some point. You've introduced me to this, huh? And now you're backing out. I know, it's just... People go into this type of life in order to make enough money and then do what? Just die? The issue is that people keep gambling and don't know when to stop. They forget the original goal on why they have to come to this lifestyle and just stay in and keep on gambling until it's far too late to return back to a normal life. What are you trying to tell me exactly? It's just, we gotta retire at this heist, man. I realize that I can't keep up with this lifestyle or I'll end up in the grave. After this heist, I will get the money, retire, and then live with my family in a happy life away from Crime City. I heavily suggest you to do the same. You're the guy who spent multiple years beating and robbing people, and now you're suddenly changing? It's just like, I remember why I originally came here. I saw my own reflection in you, and realized that I'm not right. I came for quick money to feed me and my family, but I've stayed because I got addicted to this lifestyle. Listen, I'm just saying, 
We should get money and dip, man. I don't want to see any more deaths or injuries. You know Sharky has gone missing. Nobody has seen him since he went to his home or whatever. He either got kidnapped or just successfully retired and went back to his family, which is a smart decision. Huh. Trevor? I'm glad you called. Did something happen? Nah, I have good news. I will retire in a few days. Huh? Hold on, don't panic yet. I just decided that I want to spend more time with you instead. They promised me huge surveillance pay for all the service I've done. I believe that money will be enough to cover everything we need. Yay, this is the best thing I've heard in a while. I really miss spending time with you. I just really want to stay at my house for a little longer and not be worried every time you don't call me. Don't worry. It's going to be over soon. You sure your product is reliable? Mmm, I will best have saved so many lives. Trust me, whatever you need it for, it'll surely work. Hmm. Ah, what the fuck? Damn, you didn't lie. It actually saved me from a bullet. Ready, my sons. It's time for some criminality. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. This ring is worth more than the entire Sector 07. Grab it and get the fuck out of here.
out there this kid Sue from the Legion. I need to teach him a lesson and get my ring back. Sir, we have analyzed the footage and identified them. It was a crew named Vultures. Their base is located in a Sector 3 warehouse. Recently, they had a gang war with the Russian cartel. successfully took over their turf. These kids had fun for way too long. We have to clear them. They're causing too much trouble. You want to make an anonymous call to them? <laughs> I'll just notify your friends, the government, and they'll figure out themselves if the right control unit squad should be engaged in the situation or not. Alright, uh, how do we get the money out of this thing now? Alright Trevor, I trust you to hold it for some time. I will go back to the warehouse and announce our retirement. I have to announce a new leader and all that shit. Basically, just spend the last night with the boys, alright? Anyways, I'm planning to open an actual legal business using this money. What do you guys think? You guys want to work for me, but like, now legally? <laughs> I will follow you everywhere, Blaze. I don't mind. So, uh, how much do we all get exactly? Blade gets 50%, I'm 40%, and you're 10% since you just joined. It may sound a bit, but it's fucking 25k USD, man. I've been here with Blade for years, and we've been working together for a long time. You just came and got 25k USD for free. I'm pretty sure that should cover everything you need. What the fuck happened? Blade? What have they done? Who was it? Talk to me! We... <laughs> We've been exterminated, kid. Just do not, Blade. It's going to be okay. Don't leave me here, please. I'll get some help, okay? Uh, there's no happy endings in criminals. <laughs> well, folks like us... Uh, Wrong city and wrong people, son. Save yourself.
Dude, the fucking, fucking RCU. I saw RCU at our warehouse. They have exterminated everyone. Every single one of them are dead. Blade is dead. Why would RCU come? Do you think it's because of the bank heist? Warehouse is gone. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, RCU is after me, man. I'm fucking dead, man. Calm down, Trevor. It's going to be fine. I have promised you that I'd somehow repay you, right? I know a safe spot, a hideout of mines where nobody would go, alright? <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You have no idea how grateful I am for this. You're saving my life right now. I still got a ring on me. Arcee is looking for me. You're gonna have to cross the border. There's a safe place inside of Sector 4. I have a friend in there that will cover us for as long as it's needed, alright? Alright. I'll try. Thank you again. Babe, did something happen? No, 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 Annie. I'm coming home early. I've got big surprises for you, alright? Just remember that I love you very much. And never forget that I just missed you, even though it wasn't that long. Aw, I love you too. Don't have to act so dramatic though. Yeah. Talk it away I don't know what I'm to say I'll say Wait, wait Man, I barely managed to make it alive I'm so happy to see you It's all good, man How do you, uh How do you redeem the ring into money? Honestly, I'm not sure That was Blade's job, man Pretty sure it was related to some dark market shit like sell it to some faction for extra money. But we're not gonna come back to Sector 7 obviously, so could just sell at some local jewelry for a few thousand. Oh, alright. That is possible, yeah. I know a jewelry store nearby. I will try to negotiate with them to give me more, cause they love all everything. Stand here, alright? I'll be back in a minute. Alright man, thanks for everything you've done. We will share the money and part our ways or we can stay together but in actual life. Nah, it's all good man. I owe you a lot for helping me so many times. This is my first opportunity to finally repay you man. Sorry for calling you weakling and all that shit. I'm a changed man now. I just... I need to see my own reflection.
Job well done. Your service was fast. I appreciate it. But the thing is, on phone, I've stated that I needed zero witnesses. Keep your silence, it looks better. Take it, Stasser, take it. Okay, fine, take your JT.